SharePoint 2013 software and hardware requirements are almost the same as in SharePoint 2010. The only difference or the biggest difference is that SQL Server 2005 isn't supported anymore. The video is part of a series of six videos showing you the installation of SharePoint 2013. I'm going to install SharePoint on two different virtual machines where the left one is used to run Active Directory and the right one is used to run SQL Server and SharePoint. As you can see, hardware requirements for database server, SharePoint application and web server didn't change that much. And for more or detailed information, please visit the link at the bottom. Regarding software requirements, there you can see, as I mentioned earlier, SQL Server 2005 isn't supported anymore. Hardware and software requirements are described in more detail if you visit the link shown a few slides before. So before you try to install SharePoint, please meet the hardware requirements and of course the software requirements. So what to do next? You can have a look at one of the other videos about software and hardware requirements, Active Directory, SQL Server, Windows Server or SharePoint 2013 or you can go to my blog and have a look at updates, errata, scripts or tips and tricks.